We've had a teaser of the villains in Spider-Man, but who else will be in the game? This is Tucker with Gaming Hub, and here is my wish list for the top 5 villains I want to see in Marvel's Spider-Man. We already know that Mr. Negative is simply a villain in the game, as quoted from Insomniac's creative director, Brian Intiar. So, it sounds like he's maybe part of a side mission, maybe like in the Arkham City games, and it looks like Kingpin is locked up in prison somewhere, although I think it's very likely he'll be released throughout the game. Let me know which villain you'd like to see in the comments below, but here are my top 5. Number 5. Vulture. He's of course in Homecoming, and I think he's a good character to add into this game. The mechanical suit that Michael Keaton is wearing would be a good addition for this, although it would be nice to see a slightly more true to the comic book look. From the gameplay we've seen so far, I feel there could be some great cinematic moments with him. I can imagine something like being taken really high above New York and being dropped could make for an exciting side mission. Number 4. Dr. Octopus. Now it's said that Peter is 23 and is also a scientist, and NTR has mentioned the best stories are where Peter's world and Spider-Man's world collide. Peter is going to be an integral part of this. We really want to develop those characters when they're not fighting. Now if you've read any of the Ultimate Spider-Man comics that IGN have recommended, you'll notice that Doc Ock works at Oscorp. We also know that Peter is working as a scientist. Could that be at Oscorp? I think it's quite likely. And maybe he'll be working with Dr. Octavius. I think Doc Ock would be a good addition to this Spider-Man game, and there'd be some great quick time events. Number 3. Green Goblin. Now we've seen the billboards on the gameplay so far that says Osborne for Mayor, and I think it's very likely that Green Goblin will pop up. Whether it's Norman or Harry doesn't bother me, but I think it's more likely to be Norman. He's a great villain, so he's definitely a villain I want to see more of in this game. Something like Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin would be great. Number 2. Shocker. I think it was in Spider-Man 1 on PS2 where there was a level with the Shocker in the subway. And I've always thought he was a great villain and it would be great to see a 21st century reimagination of him. His electric moves would definitely make for some interesting gameplay and probably some rather tricky fights. I doubt he'd be the main villain, but he'd be great as a side quest, and it would definitely open up some gameplay in the underground. And finally, number one, Venom slash Anti-Venom. Now I don't think Venom comes as much of a shock, he's definitely one of the better villains in the Spider-Man universe in my opinion. For all the stick it gets, I did really enjoy Venom in Spider-Man 3, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing Tom Hardy's portrayal of him next year. I don't think it's out of the question that Eddie Brock would turn up in this game, and I'd definitely be happy to see him. And if you've seen IGN's comics to read, you'll notice they've mentioned new ways to live. It focuses on anti-venom. Eddie Brock, but he has cancer, and he then becomes anti-venom, so he's not out of the picture yet. There would definitely be some good battles with him as well. So there we go, there's five villains I want to see in the upcoming Spider-Man game. Which villain are you most excited for? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to show that like button some support and subscribe for more Spider-Man news. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time.